I'm William White Jr. with your evening digital news brief for Monday, April 17th. The Dow Jones went up today with 100 points. NASDAQ finished by going up to 34. The S&P 500 also finished by going up to 13. Your number one favorite quarterback for the Philadelphia Eagles is here to stay. Jalen Hurts is here to stay for the next five years. He signed a big mega extra large contract extension for $255 million. He led his team to the Super Bowl in Super Bowl 57 on February 12th, but failed to win the title. Well, starting today... There was a curfew for teenagers going into effect. All that took place at the Fashion District, Philadelphia, were being told that if a teenager breaks the rules, they will be arrested to this very day and age. The Fashion District is located at Knife and Market in Center City, Philadelphia. It has been in establishment since it was released back on September 19th, 2019. We have some breaking news that happened overnight. A shooting leads to a crash that happened in West Philadelphia. The crash happened around 1.30 in the morning at the corner of 52nd and Delancey Streets near Spruce. We're told that police continue to investigate this problem as it continues. There haven't been further arrests being made in the case. John Fetterman returns to work after being hospitalized and feeling lightheaded. We're being told that John Fetterman is a Democrat, and he's one of the greatest guys to work for U.S. Senate since somebody else drew the nine. To the latest on that Alabama shooting that took place over the weekend, four people were killed and 28 others were critically injured at a birthday party. We're being told that police continue to investigate this situation as it continues. No arrests have been made in the case. That's the latest for your evening digital brief, but you can always get the latest news and so much more when we're not on TV or anywhere else right here on cbsphiladelphia.com. My name is William. We'll see you tonight at 11 for a new episode of the Broadcast News. Peace out. So long, everyone.